Hello Crafty Budgeters and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany. On this channel we are working to craft a budget and a lifestyle to become debt free. You already know what it is. It's Cash Stuffing Sunday. This video is about to be lit. This video is about to be hype. This video is about to be fire. Y'all! Happy Sunday or whichever day you are watching this video. I am so excited to be doing this cash stuffing with you. Y'all know I always get excited for these weeks, but there's a lot that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. As you see, there's some new stuff added to the camera, lens, landscape, whatever you wanna call it, and we gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about it, and I'm just really, really excited because, yeah, I always love just new things that I can always just share and talk about, and you know I love all of y'all. So if you are not a part of the Crafty Budget or Found, what are you waiting on? Hit that subscribe button. Wait a minute, we have fun over here. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure that you like and comment. I respond back to all of your comments, and we are gonna get started. So today we are going to be stuffing $879 and talking about some of the goodies that you see in this frame right now. So let's first just quickly talk about these flowers. Let me move them into view because they're beautiful. I was contacted by Rose Forever New York and to do a, a quick collaboration or to share their product with all of you. And you know whenever I can share different things with y'all and give you a little discount code, I definitely will do it. So let me just quickly talk about um, Rose Forever New York. You've seen them on some other channels and I'm just really excited that I get to do it as well. They are beautiful. So Rose Forever New York is a company that started in 2019 and it is based and launched with luxurious rose boxes with natural roses that will last for a year as if being freshly picked. So they have natural oils to preserve the roses and the bouquets are handcrafted by beautiful professional flower artisans. So all the materials are vegan um, and then you they preserve the roses with specific colors. You can pretty much pick the different types of colors that you want. You can they have different designs and different bouquets that you can pick from, different colors. And yeah, they're just really nice. I to be honest with you, I'm not really a flower person. I'm not necessarily a flower person because they just die and I don't really like taking care of them to be honest like my husband knows like don't get me flowers for any holiday Valentine's Day is coming up like don't get me any flowers because it's not really something that I take care of and then they like I said then they just die but these are forever for at least a year right at least a year I can have these they smell beautiful they have like a fragrance to them and you like I said you could pick different colors and I picked this purple because you know purple is my thing it shipped really really fast but y'all they, they're really nice it's just like a nice little added addition that it, I can add to um what are, what are their names look I'm getting something new and I can't remember the the original crew, crew Sebastian and Snaps and y'all your girl's coming with a discount so if you are interested in for new the Rose Forever New York definitely check out their website Site. I will link it all down below and you can get $20 off your bouquet and just by using the crafty budget are all one word y'all even though Valentine's Day is tomorrow depending on when you're watching this uh you can still get these roses and be like a little wait a minute I know Valentine's Day has passed here's a little something something for you and you can get some beautiful roses so thank you Rose Forever New York for blessing me with these beautiful roses that I will add and show and just um, have to just give a little pop of color. Like, you know, I'm usually just a very simple colors over here on this channel, but the purple, the purple's giving a little snow, nice little like, bam in there, right? Check them out. Rose Forever New York. But we are going to get started now with our cash envelope unstuffing. Y'all really loved my last video where we did our unstuffing of our January savings challenges and then I just did a video where I restuffed 
new envelopes for my 100 envelope challenge. Check those videos out. I had lots of fun, but today we are going to get started and see how much we have left over in these envelopes. If you watch my reel, follow me on Instagram. I'm doing reels and just adding some different things going on on my channel. So definitely check that out. You'll see, you'll know how much I have in here, but here we go. Wait a minute. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. You hear that? Do you hear that? Y'all, we have some money left over in these envelopes. Y'all, I am just, I am just rocking it. I know I didn't get a set up video with you, for you yesterday. Y'all, I'm gonna try. I'm really gonna try for next Saturday. I'm really going to. 10, 15, 16, 17 in groceries. Eating out, I have $4, I believe. One, two, three, four. Personal, I still have the money that I stuck, because you know I stuffed extra in this last week. 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So $36. <sighs> impersonal what is this gas is 50 50 wait a minute wait a minute 50 60 65 66 67 68 and then miscellaneous has a dollar in here and then I believe this is a dollar 83 for or no a dollar 85 so it's the dollar 85 and change and you know what we do Everything's falling. When we get to our savings challenge, we will stuff that with the change. Get it off the floor. Y'all, wait, do you see this? Money, y'all, we got money. You know that video by um, my girl who just created Abbott Ele Elementary? Y'all, if you don't watch Abbott Ele Elementary, it's such a cool like video talking about teachers and it's just really funny and gives me the office feels and office vibes. I, the first episode I was like, oh, I don't know, but now I'm like hooked. So watch Abbott Elementary, give my girl some love, but she's the one that had that video when she was standing in line and the person, oh, at the movie theater and the person was getting all this food and she was like, you got some money. Y'all, I feel like I got some money over here. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 95, 100, wait, what? 105, 110, 111, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Y'all, 125 dollars, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 126 dollars, y'all. What? I think, I think, I can't even remember, but I think the one before had a different number on it. It was, it's either 125, 126, I don't know. But, y'all, that is crazy. So I'm gonna put this aside because you know that goes towards our saving challenges as well. And we're gonna get stuffing in this wallet. But I am going to add twenty dollars to my personal i'm gonna keep twenty dollars y'all which you know i don't typically do but i'm doing it i am doing it because do i need something this week i don't know but just in case i got myself covered <laughs> okay so groceries is getting a hundred dollars and it's just going to get a hundred dollar bill remember last week i did my uh big shopping at bj's so i got a lot of things for the month so especially all of like my son's snacks for daycare and stuff that's all covered so I don't have to get as much for groceries hopefully the rest of the month right uh it should just be the essential like meats and things for our meals instead of those every week type of things that we need for my son for daycare the eating out is getting $50 which is the standard Personal is getting $15, which is standard as well. And it's going to get a 10 and a 5. And we'll add that to the 20. And now I'm really trying to think. Like, Brittany, should you just put it? Nope, nope, nope. I already made the decision. Keep it. I'm keeping it. 20 30 35 So $35 in personal. 
If I don't use it this week, it's going to go to the saving challenge, y'all. If I don't use the 20. Gas is getting $100 and it's going to get two fifties. I'm making it easy for myself this week. Instead of just like having so many different denominations, I'm just making it easier on myself. And then the miscellaneous is getting 10 and five ones. I think this feels kind of thick. It's either right or I'm off by, I have an extra. One, two, three, four, five. I knew that. I knew I had one extra. So 15 right here. And that's going to go towards miscellaneous. And then our envelope is for our wallet. It's stuff. <laughs> so exciting. All right. So that is done. Now off to our savings challenges. So I didn't... I, Y'all, I didn't even erase it. Hold on, let me see if I can quickly. Do I have anything in my desk to erase? Your girl's slacking. You should see me. I'm in, I'm in my desk trying to find stuff. Okay, so I'm putting a hundred. A hundred. That would be nice. A dollar eighty-five, and I will erase all of this and add it, and it'll be ready for next week. So all of this is going away. Here it is. Y'all, can you believe it? We've saved last month $9.95. $10, which is crazy. Starting off a little shy this <laughs> for the, the other month, for February, but that's all right. That is all right. So for the zero out challenge, the zero out challenge, we are getting, let me make sure. Yeah. So the zero out challenge, I am putting $60 again. again I gotta erase all of that. $60 in this envelope. So again, starting off the month strong. And the way that I'm doing it is it's for, because the first paycheck of February was last week, that's how I'm doing it. So the first paycheck for my family and I was on the 4th. So from the 4th to the 10th, that is what I'm stuffing now. The second one will be starting from the 11th to the 17th. The third one will be from the 18th through the 24th. And then the fourth one will be from the 25th to March 4th. That's how I'm doing my weeks for these challenges. It just helps me not to be so confused with my life. <laughs> All right, so for the $5 save and $1 savings challenge, we are putting, oh, four $5 bills and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, <gasps> 16 dollars bills into this challenge. Y'all, that's awesome. <laughs> Which last month we were able to put not 91 total dollars in here for our fives and one dollar bills, which is, this is just crazy to me. I am just ah, so excited. All right, the weather challenge we already did. We only do that at the beginning of the month. So we already did it for February. And then our health is wealth is, that is when we are doing for drinking water. And I'm really, really, really trying to really to do good on that. Thanks for all of the suggestions. What I did and I found worked for me is I did get some meal. So we already actually had meal at my house and I have a 30, is it 32 ounce? Yeah, 32 ounce water bottle. And I filled it up in the beginning of the day, put some ice in it, squirted some meal in there. And I actually drank it all for like a couple of days. And if I didn't use that, I just did just regular water bottles and it really worked. So keeping up with it. And I found when I didn't do it, I got a headache yesterday, which is interesting. Like I think I'm dehydrated. Brittany, drink some water. One, two, three, four, five, six. So $6 is going to go. And again, I will clear all of this out and make it fresh and new. So this savings challenge binder is complete. Again, if you're interested in any of these trackers, just send me an email. Do not put your email down below, but send me an email to the crafty at gmail.com and I will send you the PDF for free. That is my blessing that I'm doing for this month or I guess for this year as much as as long as I do these challenges, right? And then I have 50, 60, 70. So $70 
So what we are going to do now, and this money is now going to go to our 100 envelope challenge. Now, for our 100 envelope challenge, if you watched my video yes, what is it, Friday, you will know that my girls, Salinthia Budgets and Cass, well, Salinthia and Cassie, um, have an Etsy shop and it's Salinthia and Cassie Creates and they created the envelopes for me for my challenge just because I wanted something a little bit different rather than just the manila envelopes. So these are all of the remaining envelopes that I have left and then as you'll see over here, I'm still using this box which I'm still probably going to need something else, is that I went in and already stuffed the envelopes with the new stuffed envelopes we already did from previous weeks. I've also already gone in and filled out our 100 envelope tracker. So this week we are stuffing 89. Hold on, let me get these out. And it comes with this box. It comes with the envelopes. I also got a $1,000 uh, fake bill get it couldn't think of the word all right so i'm gonna find 89 and i need a 90. did i already do oh i missed one or i didn't miss one this one should be actually used what in the world did i do girl i gotta go back yep that's what i did y'all i picked the wrong you know what you know what? I got to go back in. I definitely stuffed diff wrong ones from this, but don't worry. I'll go back in. So anyway, we are stuffing. Okay, so 89, 90, and 24. Let's find 24. And then, let's see. How much is this? So 50, 60, 70. Did we do 70 yet? We did. Okay. So then let's see. I only have a 50. Um, maybe I can break this down. Break this $10 bill. Y'all, let's see. What should I do? So I have the 50, which we already did. I already did 60. I already did 70. Okay, so what I'm going to do is give put this 10 here and take two fives. And hopefully this doesn't mess me up. But, so now I'm going to do 55 here. And 15. So let me write that down. 55 and 15. All right, put that in here. And again, y'all, I'll go back in. For some reason, I don't. I must have picked up picked up the wrong envelope and stuffed it. Like I might have picked up ninety five when I needed another number. But anyway, okay. So fifty five is going in here. And y'all, in my video, you were saying like, Brittany, how about you just fold it one way? It it still won't fit. It it's it's too wide I tried just I just needed to let you know that I've tried and yeah see it, it won't go so I have to do it double so 55 is in here 15 and I love them significance I'm not going to go into the whole story but my grandmother and I are really close I was born on her birthday she passed away in 2000 what is it 2018 either 2017 2018 and she loved butterflies and so I just love having this set up because yeah it just make always just makes me whenever I see a butterfly I think of her and I always say like hey man how's it going thanks for checking up on me type of thing and yeah this is just another way that I can just always have her in my heart and in my mind so 50 60 70 80 85 86 Six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine. So eighty-nine dollars in here. The next one is ninety, and it's gonna did a fifty, and then two twenties. Fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, and then twenty-four. And twenty-four is getting a twenty and four ones. One, two, three, four. 
All right, so y'all, we were able to save stuff five envelopes, which is awesome. The goal, y'all, I'm just gonna say this every time because as much as I speak it into existence, it's gonna happen, is to save $5,000. No, I'm sorry, is to save $10,000 in six months. So after I account for debt and for our debt snowball, the rest of the money is going to go towards this challenge and then whatever I have left over is going to go to sinking funds. So here we are ready for our sinking funds. And let's see if I can figure out since I changed that 10 to, to 5. I mean, that should be easy, right? It shouldn't be that hard to figure out. So debt is getting, this should be $300. So now debt has... One, you see these crisp, crisp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hundred dollars for our debt snowball. We still need a thousand dollars more because our debt snowball is one thousand eight hundred dollars. And no matter what, that is is that is what we have to stuff. Um, but before we get into stuffing the remaining amount, which should be thirty dollars, yeah, it is thirty dollars. I just want to just talk a quick bit about. Just a question I have for you. So I'm really thinking about what I want my content to be moving forward and I have some ideas but I would love your help with it and so help me answer two questions and this is for those that are thinking about budgeting, have started budgeting and maybe like isn't feeling it or doesn't really know where to start. I need I have two questions for you. What are kind of the main things you want to know about budgeting for you to feel comfortable with budgeting and then the second thing is what challenges do you find you are coming into or what barriers do you find that you are kind of coming into when you budget because I'm really trying to think of creating some content to help with those that just want to start budgeting and and help using budgeting to help reach their goals so what are things that you like want to really know about that goes into budgeting and what challenges or what barriers do you feel like you can keep coming up against while you are budgeting that I can help kind of think about content that I can use to help with those things. All right, so every week I might ask different questions to kind of help me think about what the future is gonna look like for what I have in mind, but I really want it to be driven from you and to get your feedback, your thoughts on different things because I wanna create stuff that you want and that it will that you will find helpful so yeah and to help me answer those questions if you are or even if you've already started budgeting and you feel like you have a good system you can still answer those questions of like maybe you've thought about those or why you were starting your journey those things came up for you i would love your your thoughts and feedback on that all right so then the last thing that we're going to do is stuff our let's see we're going to stuff all right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to find where I, here we go. I'm going to give two fives back for the 10 so that way it doesn't confuse me based on what I've already broken down before we started. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, five. Hopefully, you know, I always feel like my math isn't right. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so the Crafty Budgeter is getting $5. So it now has $16. Blessings is getting $5. So now it has $10. And Beauty is getting 10 No, it's not. It's getting $5. And now it has... Beauty has the most because you know what's happening. Your girl's getting her hair done and getting it cut. I'm so excited. 20, 30, 30, no, it's not 40. Let's just start over. <laughs> 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So almost $50. Okay. Car is getting a dollar. So now it has five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
clothes is getting a dollar. So now clothes has 5, 10, 11. Christmas is getting four dollars. <gasps> oh wait, I forgot to tell you! <gasps> My envelopes are finally getting made. I'm so excited. I think I'll sh I should have them by next week. Ooh, I'm so excited. Y'all, they, they are so me. They are so me. I can't wait to show you. So Christmas is getting $4. 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So Christmas has $42. So Family Fun is getting a dollar. So now, ooh. One, two, three, four. So $4. Home is getting a dollar. So now home has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Gifts is getting a dollar. One, two, three, four. Y'all, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow, right? And my son uh, is on daycare and they're having like bring in little cards for all the classmates. And you know, your, your girl always had to like, has to do something over the top. So I downloaded these um, cards that say like, you color my heart and it, they're just black and white. And then I'm, I got these little cellophane bags and I have all these crayons that I, I thought I was going to like make these shapes crayon things back in the day but then I was like getting sick from melting them in the oven so I just have all these unused crayons and so I'm just printing it, the stuff out on white cardstock I got red cardstock so I'll have the red in the back the white all up top and then yeah and then I'll have these little a couple of crayons and a cellophane bag I got a hole puncher I'm gonna hole punch it and it just is like you color my heart and then the kids can just color using the crayons y'all yeah. See, that stuff just makes me happy. It just seems exciting. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, also, I don't think I shared this with you. Um, your girl potty trained her son when we had that, like, oh, we're home for COVID for two weeks. And I was like, you know what? We're home for two weeks. You're le learning how to potty train. He just turned three, and I'm like, it's time. It is time. Did three days where I'm like, okay, we were gonna do like bear, but then he was like, Mom, put something on me. I don't wanna walk around the house bear. So we just did some underwears on him and just kept on asking. And at first he was a little like, ah, I don't really know. But then he picked it up and now he's good to go. I was really nervous last week because it was the first week back in daycare with him being potty trained. And they said he has done awesome. They were like, we don't know what you did while you weren't here but whatever you did is just like awesome and he like tells you when he has to go he and then he, we sing a little song like trade trade peep in the potty trade trade peep in the potty and we give like just i'm just excited i'm just hyped for your boy and yeah so two snaps to you trey two snaps to you did i give it a dollar i don't know maybe 21 we'll see we'll see when we're done because you know i get to talk and then forget medical now has five eleven we, we skip like six numbers five six seven eight nine ten so ten dollars in medical which y'all do you see that trey which i probably should have talked about trey when we got his envelope but whatever 50 55 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. Your boy is rocking it. He has the most money out of all of these envelopes. Transportation is getting a dollar. I do have to add to my transportation card because you know now I'm back to my normal schedule and I get the train to work a couple days out of the week. 10, 15, 16, 17. Yearly subscriptions is getting a dollar. So now yearly subscriptions has 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. And then travel is getting $2. So travel is getting 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 dollars in travel. And that's it, y'all. We stuffed our money in this envelope wallet here we go i need to be on broadway broadway 
Okay, so that's it. <laughs> Yo, we stuffed our envelopes. We talked about some new things that are happening on this channel that I need your help with and just new things that we're bringing to the forefront. I just love it. I love this. Every week, it just brings me so much joy to just share my journey with you and just share my life with you in different ways. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like and comment. If you are not subscribed to the Crafty Budgeter fam, what are you waiting on? Hit that subscribe button. We have fun over here. I will see you next week. You ready? Here we go. See ya. Bye-bye.